Hi guys, it's Julianne Malinowski and I'm an ECD HUV coach. So today we'll be making coffee filter butterflies. The materials you'll need for this project are some markers. We got a pipette. This is a big one actually that you use for cooking or you can use a squirted water bottle. Some coffee filters, pipe cleaners, and a bowl. First, you're gonna fill up your water. You're gonna start out with two coffee filters each and you're gonna to wanna to flatten them out just like that. Then you're gonna put them on top of each other and start designing. Try not to leave any white spaces, fill up the whole coffee filter. And make sure you hold down on your two coffee filters so that it comes through on either side. Make sure you're using all different colors and filling up the whole coffee filter. If you run out of ideas or patterns, you can always use confetti that covers up a lot of the space or dots. So if you look at mine and you flip it over, you see it doesn't really come through as I was hoped it would. So you can always either try going over it like this or you can copy what you did on this side on this side. As you can see, we're doing this craft outside, but you can do it anywhere. Just make sure you have a placemat or something underneath so it doesn't bleed through. So it looks like she's done here, but then when you take the coffee filter on the top off, there's a lot of white space on her second one. So she's now going to go over the second one and add in all that white space with color. So now as you can see, both our sides are pretty pretty colored up. Same over here. We're filling up all the white space with color. All right, it looks like we're both done. It's all filled up. Mine has a little bit of white, but we're going to see how it comes out. Now we're gonna put water on them. All right, first we're gonna be using the pipette to show you how it works. So she's gonna dip it in, squeeze it. All right, that's a lot of water. So now you're gonna drip it, little droplets, little all around. It's real soaking wet, so we're gonna have to let that sit out for a while. Next, we're gonna be using the spray bottle to show you how that works. So we're gonna spray our next one all around. Maybe this one will be a little drier. Good, that looks good. All right, this one looks to be pretty soaked, so I'm not sure if the color is gonna come up or anything, but we'll have to see when it dries. So we're gonna let it sit out in the sun now for a while until it dries, and then we'll move on to the next part. This is what mine turned out when I did the pipette, also kind of soaked, but we're gonna see how it looks This after. is what my other side looks like after I put the spray bottle on it. So a lot of white spaces, so hopefully that color comes out, but I think it will be better than this. All right, we're gonna let them sit out in the sun now for a while until they're completely dry. All right, this is what they turned out to look like after being fully dry, sitting out in the sun. So this was the first pair that we did, and this is the second pair. But it kind of looks like these two look more similar, so I think we're gonna pair those two up and pair the two lighter ones up. If you sit these out in the sun after you work on them, it only took about 20 to 25 minutes for them to dry out in the sun. So for the next part of this, you're gonna take your coffee filter, take one each, and you're going to fold it just like you would with a fan. So you're gonna take one side, and fold it this way. Then you're gonna flip it over and fold it the other way. So one fold on each side. And you're gonna keep doing that process. So I fold it again, this way, and again, the other way. So it kind of looks like a fan, like that, if you were to unfold it. And I'm gonna keep doing that until it gets to the end. It should look like this then, all folded up. I'm going to then take my next one and do the same exact thing. So if you do this real quick. I'm folding it the same way I did the last, and it then should look like this also. Then for the next step, you're gonna take the two pieces and you're gonna put them together, just like that. You're gonna take 
your pipe cleaner and you're going to wrap it around to make the antlers just like this you can make them as big as you want or as small as you want i'm going to make mine a little bigger you can always wind them down just like that and then you're going to spread your wings out And there is your almost symmetrical butterfly. Now I'm going to do the same with my other, my lighter one. This is how the lighter one came out. This is one side. And I'm going to fold it the same exact way. Okay, now I have my two pieces to my other butterfly, and I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to put them together, spread its wings out a little bit, get my pipe cleaner, and wrap it around. Now I'm trying to make them even so that they line up at the top here. I'm going to twist them a little and spread out the wings. And there you have it. We have both our butterflies. Let's see this one. This project is great for children ages three through six, um, but any child can benefit from making this. What it teaches the child is to mix colors and how they blend when you add water to them. These butterflies were a lot of fun to make. Both children and adults will have fun making them. So I suggest if you want a more colorful butterfly, I would use a spray bottle so it keeps the color in. Or if you want a lighter butterfly, I would say using a pipette or adding a little bit more water.